Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst. Look at that. Wow, is that an incredible fish? And the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. <laughs> With Cal Schweel. What a specimen. And Joel Nilsson. This is an absolute monster. <laughs> This is In-Depth Outdoors. Today on In-Depth Outdoors, we head east from Minnesota to Wisconsin, specifically Green Bay, where we're gonna take part in some early season bass fishing just a couple of days after the Wisconsin bass season is opened. Today I'll be fishing with Mike Anselmo. He's one of the newest additions of the In-Depth Outdoors Pro Staff team. And something you should know about Mike is he's a die-hard bass nut. So much, in fact, he's gonna be fishing a tournament on these same bodies of water that we're gonna to fish today in a couple of weeks. So what brings us back to this area time after time, uh, there's really two things the fantastic water clarity and the size of the fish. Uh, what I love about fishing in really clear water is I get a great feel for what the habitat's all about and how the fish interact with that habitat. And of course, when you talk about big bass, this area around Sturgeon Bay is known for producing some of the largest smallmouth caught nationwide every spring. Fish up to eight, eight and a half pounds show up in tournament bag limits year after year. So that in and of itself was enough to get us to come to this location to see what this great bass fishery is all about. So do stick around. If we're able to get on the fish, chances are they're gonna be some of the biggest smallmouth we catch all season long. Do you wanna scout it first or just fish it? I think we just started fishing. We've got the lake to ourselves. Agreed. I'll just stay fast on the trolling motor. We'll cover a lot of ground and we'll uh, fish it uh, in, with a fury, so to speak. Perfect. Do you grab a jerk bait? I'll grab a tube. Uh, I'll grab a tube. You grab a jerk bait. You're the king of uh, the shadow wrap. <laughs> We're looking for big black beauties. That's one of the nice things about fishing here on Sturgeon Bay and the bays in the area on, on this section of Green Bay is the water clarity is just phenomenal. So a lot of times you don't even have to start fishing until you actually just visually see these big giant black footballs in the water. You can save a guy a lot of time. I mean, you can fish it all if you want, but you might as well just kind of drive through it quickly on the trolling motor. You can even use your big motor and side image it. Get a feel for where these fish are at. Water temps are mid 50s, 55.7, Mike. That's fantastic. The water clarity out here, I mean, just always amazes me. It'll be fantastic when I see one. Kind of feeling like I might be a little shallow. Oop, fish hooked up. There you go. Get us started, man, get us started. Fish one in the morning. Walleye or small? Oh, I think he looks like a smallmouth. That's a smallmouth. Definitely a brown one. Did you get him with that perch colored shadow wrap? This is uh, that moss back shiner. Ah. Not a giant, but you know what? Heck of a start. Uh, it's a pretty nice smallmouth just about anywhere else. We'll take it, but I think here on Sturgeon Bay, we're looking for his, his big sister. To start, if we get about 15 or 20 more, uh, double that size, I'll be happy today. Three times that size. Let's get greedy, <laughs> Mike. I was hoping it would be me, but somebody had to catch the first fish, right? Yep, you got it. Well done. You hooked up, Kane? Yeah, yeah. What are you? I think he's about to jump. Woo! What do you think, Jet? James, you want the net? I'm pretty sure he's not a walleye. And he's not a little guy. Not a giant. Nice fish. A step in the right darn direction. Absolutely. I'm here. He's angry. Thank you, sir. You got it. Give me my hard earned fish. 
There we go. Nice Sturgeon small. Bay smallmouth. Definitely a step in the right direction. Mike got us rolling this morning, had that first fish on a jerk bait. Since then, we just haven't seen a lot of activity on those faster, more aggressive presentations. So uh, I'm fishing a, a 1 8 ounce VMC tube jig and uh, a tube itself, a small one. What's that, about a three inch tube, Mike? Yep, two and Very three quarters, small. three inch. Uh, water's still a little cold here right now. We're uh, topping out at about 49, 50 degrees. Uh, big baits just don't seem to be working. So we're fishing very small presentations and we're fishing them very slow. All right, smallmouth number one is in my book for the season. Back you go. Boom. All right, now if you do much smallmouth fishing, chances are you've heard of Sturgeon Bay. Uh, this time of the year when the fish start to move up uh, for pre-spawn, uh, it's pretty common to hear about tournament weights coming in where every fish in your bag better be five pounds plus if you want to be at top of the leaderboards. So that makes this body of water a very special destination for guys like me that love to catch smallmouth. Um, in this, uh, this month of May, uh, the last two years, uh, there's been fish caught seven, eight pound range, and I've never caught a smallmouth that big. So uh, any place I can go with just, a, with just a chance at a fish of that caliber, I'm all in. You switching over to a tube, Mike? Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna. I know that jerkbait just doesn't seem to be working right now. We caught one fish on it early, but I think slow and steady with the tube is the way that we're gonna get it done. Well, I wish we could do some power fishing. You know, fast, big baits, flashy, that'd be great. It's but fun. It is. Not at these temperatures, at least not today. Hey, you remember when we were hanging out last night? You know, me, you, Gail. That's my girl. <laughs> you guys are awesome. And then you went to bed. I was tired. You were super tired. And then it was just me and Gail. Mm-hmm. Alone. Ah! What? Oh, 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 yeah! It's all in the pause. New Shadow Rap from Rapala. This is just not fast paced fishing. You know, I mean, I love fishing top waters and spinner baits and what have you for bass, but that's not what this is. This is uh, cold water, fairly lethargic fish. We're just fishing these tubes just as slow as a guy can go. Drag it along the bottom. Mike's been fishing too, but he's also been fishing a little. Uh, uh, got him. Another fish? Yep. I don't know, Mike. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that's that what we're looking for. That is a for. stinking giant. That's the one we're looking for. Oh, 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 oh. Big jumpy mama. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Stay pinned, mama. Stay pinned. She's going to come right around the back of the boat. That is exactly what we come here for. Look at that thing. She's so big she can hardly jump. Oh, she's ours. Oh, yes. You're pushing that, uh, that five and a half, six pound mark there, I think. Heck yes, That's I am. That's a giant. Look at that. Oh, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to hold her. <laughs> Is that a big smallmouth? <laughs> right there. Uh, in about uh, 21 inches, that'll tell you exactly why people come here. Still fishing just simple, simple stuff here. Eight ounce VMC jig, tube jig and a small tube, and look at that thing. Just a fiend. That's the biggest smallmouth I've caught in a long, long time. Wow. We're putting together just the smallest little pattern here. Uh, it really comes down to where we're keep keeping the boat relative to some deeper water, and I'll show you what that's all about. We're gonna let this fish go, though. What a fantastic smallmouth. Fish. <laughs> that is an appropriate reaction, Mike. <laughs> Back you go. Better? Yeah, nice fish. I mean, it's not that bone-crushing giant that you caught, but hey, I'll take smallmouths like this all let's day. Let's just uh, mix them up. We'll take uh, we'll take all the above. You know, I'd love to catch them on jerk baits. It's a little bit more fun, a little bit more active, but we'll do this too. Yeah. Just for the sake of getting a nice shot for the camera. That net comes in awfully handy, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Well, that's nice a nice fish. Yeah. Heck yeah. 
a tube jig's kind of the deal, isn't it? Nice fish, bud. I think we'll let her swim. Nice fish. Let's do it again. Many, 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 many more times. There's one right there. I'm looking at him. Oh, there's four or five of them right there. Uh, I'm gonna throw it in behind him. We're gonna keep going that way. Yep. And they're gonna get interested, right? See any big ones? Yep. Fish. All right, Mike. Good one? Yep. You holler if you need that net. You know what, let's just, I don't know how big it is, but let's make a preemptive move for the net. Ah, he's not that big. I think, we'll, I think we're into what we uh, could call a school of fish. I like it. <sighs> Gotta start somewhere. Another male looks like, huh, Jay? Yeah, definitely. Yep. Well, there were a few of them back there. I bet there's another, uh, another one of their girlfriends. If we've got to sort through all the boys to get to the girls, that's just fine. Yeah, I'm in. Did he just smoke it? Yeah. That one, Mike. <laughs> That's cool. That's one of the drawbacks of fishing in cold water like this. Not quite as uh, acrobatic as. Ooh, that's a decent fish. Uh, it, Got a little push there. You tried to get bottle out of the water. You know, don't give the cold water all the credit. Sometimes they're big enough where they have a hard time jumping out. They of the just water. can't do it, huh? That's a chunky monkey. Yeah. That one ate it. We can do that all day long right there. That was a no-doubter right there. He, uh, he let me know that it was, it was time to eat. He just about took the rod out of my hand. Nice fish, though. They pull hard. Yes, they do. This is a great way to welcome summer. <laughs> Absolutely. Let them go. All right, do it again. The last two passes, Mike, I've kind of hopped us shallower and shallower, and Yep. I'm not convinced that was the right way to go. No, I mean, I mean, we're seeing fish up shallow, but those active fish seem like they're just off that slightly deeper edge of this flat. It's nice to get up here on these flats and work these fish, but in the conditions that we've got right now, it's so calm. I mean, these fish just explode with the, just the drop of a pebble. Uh, they're so spooky. A lot of times you get up in these shallow flats and if you see the fish, it's too late, it's over. Uh, they've already spotted you and they just won't eat. What Mike and I are using, we're using a, uh, a new braided line. Uh, it's called Nano Braid. It is as fine as silk thread, and it actually does exactly what it claims to do, which is allow you to cast a lot further. So in this situation where uh, just having the ability to make those, those longer casts with that, there you go, good one. They're all good. Being able to make those longer casts, get it away from the boat, it makes a big difference. Oh, that's a nice fish, bud. Yeah, when you're fishing for fun, they, they pull awfully hard, man. When aren't you fishing for fun? Well, when I'm not nervous just trying to get the fish back to the boat. Oh, that tournament thing. I know, I know. Even a fish like that, though, you really got to kind of watch what you're doing. That fluorocarbon isn't real heavy. The bottom is covered in sharp zebra mussels. The thumb works. The thumb works. Who needs a net when you've got a, a sure grip of a thumb, right? After about uh, 20 or 30 of them, that net feels mighty nice. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, do it again. I never did see 
uh, any other trailers on that, did you? Right away there was. Come on now, fish. And I think this is that spot that's like a big wad of just piled up wood. I don't know what they had built here, but it's not a, an area. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> if that's a smolly, it's a good one. It's not an area where you'd want to throw bait because you'd snag it up. But I'm snagged into something that I really want to mess with. Long, long, long cast. Oh yeah, this is a beautiful fish. <laughs> Ah, this is the best start to the summer that I've had in a long time, right here. Come on up, fish. Spot lock's working. Oof, there we go. Nice fish, James. Thank you. Let me get in there, grab her by the snoot. We're starting to whack and stack now. Nothing fancy. I'll show you the jig, I'll show you the tube. So we're really starting to get on these fish pretty good. Such a simple presentation. I mean, if you bass fish at all, you fish the tube. So there's no real huge explanation that needs to be given there. Uh, the one thing that I will share about how we're fishing these tubes is just excruciatingly slow. We'll demonstrate that just to make sure everybody's really on the same page because it makes all the difference in the world. Fish has got to go back. All right. Tastes like thumb. All right. I think we're doing a, a retie here just to make sure we don't end up losing a bait due to chafed line. I'll show you what these jigs are. Again, nothing super fancy. VMC tube jig, four-aught hook. We're fishing that on a rather small tube. You know, it's a three-inch tube. And I think one of the things that does kind of really being a key here today is the size of that tube. You're trying to imitate a goby, uh, which is a smaller bait fish. Uh, the fish aren't real aggressive. The water's still cold, so they're not really, really willing to chase big baits yet. Uh, so we're keeping things small, compact, and very light. That's an eighth of an ounce. And uh, it's just heavy enough to allow us to make these really long casts, which is very important. And got just enough weight where we're able to skip this thing, crawl along the bottom without hanging it up. So I'm gonna retie, get a new tube on there, and get back in the action before Mike catches my five pounder. <laughs> <laughs> right there, boys. You want a little help? Nope. I'm going to lip this one all by myself. It's a nice fish. It is a nice fish. He snuck up on me. I was just about ready to lift the tube out of the water. He could almost get off right now, and I wouldn't mind. Almost. Well, let's, <laughs> let's, let's put our hands on him. He's not, he's not caught till he gets to taste my thumb. Is that what you're thinking? Let's put our hands on him just to see how you like it. Come here, bias. Oh, I got him. <laughs> How's that? You're right. <laughs> it's better to actually hold him. We're not going to get sick of doing this today, but we're going to try. I'm okay with that. Back he goes. We'll take it. All right. There he goes. <laughs> Ooh. Oh boy, that looks like a good one, Mike. Oh. Nicely done. Thick, heavy, fat fish. There he is. Good fish, Mike. Not a giant or anything, but... Uh, nice fish. Want a little help with the net? Justifies my time. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, yeah. Whew. I think you get uh, half a point there for actually getting that one in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Ah, what a super fish. And that tube is gon gonzo. Not our biggest fish of the day, but just a quality, quality fish. All right, we're gonna have to get that hook out of there. That one just woofed that tube up. All right, gonna need a pliers on that one. That one was going nowhere, Mike. Hook point, there we go. 
All right, very, very healthy fish. If I was uh, fishing in uh, that uh, big Sturgeon Bay smallmouth bass tournament here in a week or two, I'm not sure that one would, would even be a part of a, of a really good limit, but it's a great fish nonetheless. Pretty special fishery to be able to look at a fish like that and go, yeah, I probably wouldn't make the bag if you were looking for six to weigh in on that tournament. Uh, all right, we'll let that one go. All right, see you later, fish. Straight down. We're not killing them, but piling them up pretty good. I mean, you get four or five fish an hour and uh, it really adds up quick. Absolutely. You know, I bet you when this water temperature rises three, four, five more degrees, it'll be just all it, great guns. It's tremendous. I mean, the amount of fish that we're seeing and the structure that we're fishing on, you know, we're barely scratching the surface of, uh, you know, what the possibilities out here for setting the hook are, that's for sure. Yeah, we're only catching like one out of every 50 we see, which is pretty bad odds, actually. We'll take it. There's one, Mike. Another one? Another one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, we have had so much fun here today. It's been an amazing day. Gonna jump, gonna jump, gonna jump. Well, maybe not. Gonna wallow around like a big pig. Oh, did jump. <laughs> Good for you, girl. That is a big pig. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, you cannot oversell the quality of the fishery here on Green Bay. Sturgeon Bay to be specific. <laughs> We've caught so many nice fish here today. I, I think my you. favorite part of this whole deal is the water quality, the water clarity. So you can see everything these fish are doing, how they're relating to the rock to sand transitions. I think the only downside of it is you're reminded how bad we are at actually catching these things because for every fish you see, you must catch what, 150th of them? I think we're barely scratching the surface. It's certainly humbling, I know that. Well, I got to handle the biggest smallmouth that I've touched in a long time, and we had a bunch of fish on the plus side of four pounds. That's yes, a successful day. Yes. So here we are, the first week of May. This bite's only going to get better, and uh, I cannot wait to see what the tournament weights are going to be here when the big tournaments uh, start to you know, be held here in a couple of weeks, because that's always the eye-opener for us. Right. You get to see what this body of water is truly capable of. The fish are so big, you just, like I said, you can't oversell it just due to the quality. I'm going to get this fish back. All right, fish, we'll see you later. Whew. Beware of fast rides and bass boats. Fantastic day. That was Loved fun. every minute of it. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it. Well, good luck good to you. Mike's fishing in uh, one of the big tournaments coming up here in, what, a week and a half? Two yeah, weeks? a week and a half. It's going to be fun. Well, I hope you I do well. Wait. And uh, this body of water needs to be fished every year. If you're a bass fisherman, you love to chase the smallmouth, this has got to be on your bucket list. And like I said at the start of the show, there's really only a couple of body, bodies of water that can really compete or compare with the quality you find here on Sturgeon Bay. Uh, I know I'll be back. I cannot wait to do this again, whether it be spring like we're doing now or later in the fall. They get a good run up towards Door County again. Yep. Go up and fish with Paul Delaney. Love fishing with him. Smallmouth are huge then too. So. Well, I'll be waiting for the call next spring. I know that. All right. Thanks for fishing with me today, Mike. I loved every minute of Absolutely, it. Absolutely. Me too. Let's get the show on the road. Let's do it. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.